Welcome to another video in our Bieber and Selena Gomez update feed. In this video, Selena Gomez talks about how she discovered her best collaboration and what it has to do with Justin Bieber. Selena Gomez recently filmed a YouTube video of herself cooking a burger with Gordon Ramsay. During the video, Gordon Ramsay asked him what his favorite work of his career was. Selena Gomez has the opportunity to once again express her feelings for Justin Bieber. Gordon Ramsay, what has been your favorite collaboration from an artist's perspective? You have done so many beautiful collaborations. Selena Gomez, oh, you know, that's one of the best parts. I would say working with Coldplay was a huge bucket list moment. I have been a fan of Chris for a long time. And they are beautiful. It was really cool. He called his song Let Somebody Go with Coldplay his best collaboration. Why does this spark rumors about her feelings for Justin Bieber? Because every song Selena has made or collaborated on has a personal connection to the lyrics, and this song is no different. The song is deep and deals with the pain of losing love for reasons other than lack of love. It wasn't until the song that ended this chapter was released that Selena was ready to open up about her troubled relationship with Benny Blanco. But Gordon Ramsay seems to be enjoying another collaboration with Charlie Puth. And Selena hummed and danced a little. Gordon Ramsay, and what did you do with Charlie Puth? Selena Gomez, yeah, we're not talking anymore. The song she's talking about is Charlie and Selena's collaboration We Don't Talk Anymore, which garnered a lot of sympathy considering the lyrics Justin Bieber sang at the time. Selena Gomez, sometimes I feel like you wish I could go to your house. But I'm afraid of making a mistake. I don't want to know if you look into his eyes. When he holds you tight like me. I overdosed. You should have known that your love is a game. Now I can't keep you away from my heart. Oh, that's a shame. We don't talk anymore. During this process, there were rumors that the two actors were dating. However, although Charlie Puth liked Selena during their collaboration, Selena did not recognize him as a friend. Charlie later released Attention, which sparked speculation that the song was a subtle dig or criticism directed at Selena. Years later, he confirmed this prediction in a tweet. In the song, he says he only wants Selena's attention, not her heart. Charlie Puth, you just want attention. You don't want my heart, maybe you hate me for dating someone new. Yes, you just want to be noticed. I knew from the beginning. I'm sure I'll never get over you. Charlie Puth said Selena tried to use her emotions to get closer to him in a lyric video that resurfaced after the tweet in 2017. In the video, he talks about attention, a girl who refuses to sleep with him and try to manipulate him and drive him away. Charlie Puth, we decided to talk at the hotel. He said, do you want to stay the night? He says. I say, okay, I'll take it. Then nothing happens and you are completely fine. But after it happened the fifth time, he, he. I knew. I knew what he had done. Selena Gomez took offense to his comments and described him as a typical person who is only interested in physical contact. In response, he also released a song called Kinda Crazy, which many believe is a message for him. Selena Gomez, I think you're a little crazy. They're not the good ones, honey. Because you're acting very suspicious. You've been avoiding phone calls these days. But I still write my son. Yeah, I think you're a little crazy. They're not the good ones, honey. Baby, you're making it hard for me. Every time you lie to me. I cannot believe. I think you're a little crazy. What do you think about all this? 
Do you think Selena Gomez and Justin Bieber still have feelings for each other? Was Charlie Puth right or wrong about Selena Gomez? Let us know in the comments section and thanks for watching.